It is sunny, cool, and dry in Seattle, and its MLS team is hot. The Seattle Sounders have won three consecutive matches as they are set to play host to the Philadelphia Union. Thanks for with a lot of responsibility with so much inexperience in that midfield, and Montero up top, so important to this team. He wants to get Hurling up next to Pahoy, so Pahoy's on an island by himself, and he gets more support. Freddie Montero, number 17 in the center of your picture, scored a 35-yard screamer against L.A. on Wednesday night as Zach McMath gets his first touch of the game. Philadelphia Union. There's another header one. Head to the uh, six-yard box and he's cleared up the line. It was Freddie Montero with these swiveling shots. And Gaddis was in the right place at the right time. Early opportunity for Seattle. Now Rosales trying to find Estrada. By Alonso. Possibilities here for Seattle. Freddie Montero, Alonso to his right-hand side, all the way out he goes to Mauro Rosales, into the area, Rosales low cross, surely at the far post, no, cleared, desperate defending, and in the end, Zach McMath, I think, has won a free kick, he's down on the ground, Ricardo Salazar has blown the whistle, it looks like it's a head injury for Zach McMath here, let's take another look at this, Kyle. Well, you don't want Mauro Rosales to find that much space out wide. Gaddis got stuck forward. The ball's given away in the middle by Farfan. Gets the ball wide. Great vision from Montero. This is a perfect pass, and Estrada just trying to get a touch on it. And right as he comes across this one and tries to get a touch to put it in the net, he hits McMath with the knee right in his head, and that one hurts a lot. The union captain. Rose. Asking two youngsters. Rose with a slightly wild challenge there against Michael Farfan, and he gets a yellow card, and he's remonstrating with the referee. One of the more senior players, there he is, Ozzy Alonso, comes and points him away. He's bound to be fired up out there, Carl. 38,000 people in the crowd, an MLS debut, but that was rather reckless. Well, he comes in, and it's the foot off the ground, exposes the cleat, and young defender on him right now, playing on the opposite side of the field. He wants to tackle with his right foot. He's going to have to make a lot of challenges with that le least comfortable left foot. And also, every time that they slow him down, another player will come in and try to get a knock in there. Tremendous ball from Patrick Iani. Here's Mauro Rosales. Good skill from Rosales up against Daniel now. Pulls it back, Johansson. To the back post, Montero with the header. Zach McMath with the save and to be fair it was straight at him but what a move wonderful vision from Iani great diagonal ball Rosales cuts it back first time cross it's a little bit behind Freddie as you see he tries to contort his body in the air and snap it towards the goal we've called him the Iron Man of our team Brian Carroll even the Iron Man of the league into this Seattle counterpart, Ozzy Alonso, who's played a lot of games over the last three years. There's Birch. That's his Kasky. He's going to wind up and shoot. Alice Kasky's just wide. Birch is on the overlap on his left-hand side. Only a second start of the season for Kasky. This all starts with a tremendous diagonal ball from Freddy Montero. Drops the shoulder, gets it on that right foot, slices it a little bit, and it's always curling away from that far post. Good effort. We're all having a go now, Cal, aren't they? Haven't seen uh, Freddie Montero from 35 yards into the top corner against LA. <laughs> Jeff Park went to Drexel University in Philadelphia. Freddie Adu. Now, we have to be careful here, Rose. He's on a yellow card. And Ricardo Salazar's decided against a second yellow. And Rose is going to have to be very, very careful here. And Salazar is being lobbied by a number of Philadelphia Union players to get a second card out. Really lucky to still be on the field. This is just youth and getting caught up in the moment. He gives the ball away. Padrup was an amazing player. He was wind winding down his career when I started getting into the game. And that's, that's a classic choice. Very abstract, obscure choice, but an unbelievable player. Good knowledge for a 23-year-old. Here comes Seattle. Long drive comes in. It's repelled that shot by Kasky. By Zach McMath. Kasky looks lively. I love this confidence from Kasky. He's been picking up the ball, doesn't even hesitate, comes in on this right foot. No one pushes out on him, takes a touch. Danny Kalo stays back, and that's knuckling towards that near post. Across his body, he has the skill to take that out of the air. Rosales with the corner kick. 
Into the six-yard box. Oh, the header comes in from Rose and it's off the bar. Kasky with the attempted volley. Freddy Montero was there as well. Rose rises up, gets in front of his defender. Out jumps him. Daniel doesn't even make the challenge. McMath can't even get his hands up in time. A consecutive MLS game since 2007 when he scored in three straight for Kansas City. Montero. Mauro Rosales. He's in. Rosales scores! Seattle take the lead. A first goal of the season for the Argentine Mauro Rosales. An assist from Freddy Montero. And 38,000 go bonkers in Seattle. Well, normally it's the other way around. It's Mauro Rosales finding Freddy Montero. Great layoff there, but look at this ball. Perfect pace on it. First touch, second touch, sets up Mauro Rosales. Low, hard, far post, but it's all in this ball from Freddy Montero. Leads Mauro Rosales, takes a look at the goalkeeper, slots it far post. Great goal. There was a doubt about whether he'd start today, Mauro Rosales. Suffered an ankle injury against Chicago last Saturday. Ball breaks to Mauro Rosales. Through to Freddy Montero. Montero the Colombian. Blocked by Kalin. Still Montero. Kasky has completely missed his kick while he fed as he got something on it. But it's squirmed wide of McMath's goal and an opportunity is lost. Look at this beautiful ball from Mauro Rosales, but Danny Califf doing a great job of staying with Montero. Montero composure in the box and Kasky has a nightmare with this one. As it rolls to him, he doesn't quit. He doesn't go for it quick enough. Now Montero, Scott has continued his run. Diagonal ball to Eddie Johnson. Room to run into for the former U.S. international, and who knows, future U.S. international. Eddie Johnson, Montero, all alone into the area. Chips one off the bar. Magnificent effort from Freddie Montero. He doesn't do tappings. Well, any frustration with Freddie Montero is based on this right here. Gets turned, pirouettes on the ball off of one step, curls into the upper 90. But Math has stayed forward. Short it goes to a do. Williams, can he get a cross in? No, it's charged down by Alonso. Keon Daniel into the area. Meredith punches against his opposite number, Zach McMath. And that's it. It's all over. Ricardo Salazar blows his whistle. And the Seattle Sounders are indeed into second place in the Western Conference tonight.